COVID watch, even with the vaccine, health experts warn the virus will be with us for years to come. And that's why Dr. Fauci says it's critical that scientists focus on developing treatments. A year into the pandemic, the FDA has approved but one antiviral drug for emergency use. That's remdesivir. And it's been authorized to treat only people with severe COVID cases. There is some encouraging news tonight, though. This week, the drug maker Merck reported promising results from a study that tested its experimental COVID pill. CNBC's Meg Terrell covers science and medicine for us. Meg, this could be a, a kind of Tamiflu for COVID. Is that right? Yeah, that's the hope, Chef. I mean, Merck's drug is among the most advanced of what could be a new group of treatments for COVID, oral antiviral drugs. And there were some early hints from a medical conference this weekend that that medicine called molnupiravir, as well as another from a company called Atia, may offer the possibility of a simple pill for the disease. Dr. Fauci telling us in an interview what drugs like this have been able to do for other viral diseases. We need the same sort of thing that we have with HIV and that we have at hepatitis C. We need an oral drug that potently could suppress the virus. I believe strongly that we will get there. The question is how quickly we'll get there. And it's taken longer to develop these medicines than it did for vaccines for COVID or the antibody drugs authorized for high-risk patients. Enrollment in trials has sometimes been slower than hoped, and experts note these drugs are complex. Some that are farthest along now were originally developed for SARS almost two decades ago or for other viruses. NIH researcher Matthew Hall says that's why the work going on now could also benefit us down the line. From a pandemic preparation point of view, we need to develop antivirals now so that when something else occurs, a different kind of virus that breaks out somewhere else in the world, or that, you know, COVID-27 that we all sort of joking but not joking talk about, we're ready for it and that we've got options on the table to really quickly respond. So Merck expects more data on how well its drug does in preventing hospitalizations as soon as this month. Shep? Meg Terrell, thank you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.